Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're not doing reading, so if that's what you're looking for, you can just go ahead and turn off right now. It is okay. I am going to do kind of a tarot card review. Um, I was gifted a lovely set of tarot cards on Thanksgiving by my wonderful daughter-in-law, Michelle, and I thought, oh, so it kind of got the bug about, you know, obtaining and looking for other or more tarot, uh, tarot, or in this case, oracle cards. Okay, well, this is tarot that I'm going to show you, and the other ones that I got, that I bought were oracle cards from, I will have to say it, if they were from Amazon. Now, I'm going to do one for each of these so they don't get um, too mixed up. This one is going to be about a card, and I've already opened this up because it was really kind of intriguing to me. So I'll talk a little bit about this. So let's see what we've got here. So she gave me The Nightmare Before Christmas, and it is um, tarot deck and guide, and it's Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas cards. Now the interesting thing, I'm not a big Tim Burton fan. I'm not, I'm, it's like, okay, fine. But I will tell you that I had just finished watching the miniseries Wednesday, and I was like, oh my gosh, I want more of it. I'm not necessarily a big Disney fan because I do, you know, they, they walk a very interesting line. But um, whenever you get cards, tarot cards, whenever you get tarot cards or oracle cards, there's many, many people that say the best way to get them is as a gift, Okay. I say that's a great way to get them too, but um, many times I've walked into a store or I've been shopping online and I'm like, ooh, want this, must have this. So this is Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before uh, Christmas. I have not played with these. Now when you do get tarot cards, and this is why maybe it's good at least for the first five minutes to watch each one because I might give you a little bit of a, of a thing or a little bit of instructions. When you get tarot cards, um, putting them under the full moon or the new moon is a really great idea. What you can do, though, is make sure that, you, like selenite, that you wrap it in something, you know, a baggie or something like that because it is paper and they can get all mushy and all, um, you know, they can get wet and then they're no good to you. Um, the other thing that some people will say uh, is also to put them under your pillow and dream with them. I have put boxes like this under my, my under my pillow, and I will tell you it was very, very uncomfortable. So I would say take it out of the box, maybe put something, a uh, ribbon around this, or I use hair ties a lot of times, uh, and, you know, and sleep with it under your pillow. I still find that a little uncomfortable because I'm worried that I'm going to wake up with all these cards around me. So let's go back here. So here we have, it's a very, I mean, the coloring is very cool. Uh, you know, so I'm going to try to do this so people, you can you can see this with me. You know, this is all in gold, gold. You've got the main characters. And I will tell you, I did not watch The Nightmare Before Christmas. I, my, I will probably have to do that just to um, satisfy family. <laughs> but I did not watch this. I tried. I sat down one time. It just never was one that I really wanted to watch. So... So it's interesting that she got me this, but this is, she, she loves Tim Burton pictures. So let's see what we've got here. So we open it up, and we'll put that over, oh, inside of the box. And it is a nice sturdy box. If that's something that um, means something to you, it is a nice sturdy box. We've got this little thing here, so you can pull up, and it does pull up the, um, the little deck, the guidebook. Now, many people, too, many tarot readers um, or people that are talking about it or teaching it will tell you to throw the book away. And I have done that where, well, I haven't thrown it away, <laughs> but I have done that where I'm like, I went right into the cards uh, first. Sometimes the cards had meaning for me, and sometimes it was like, well, wh what are they saying that they're doing here? It's always, to me, even if you're very proficient in tarot, it's always interesting to read what's going on um, and what they're saying with this. Now, they are, you know, for me, anything that's reversed has a stronger energy. 
but they're doing the reversed as um, some, you know, as more of a watch out type. So here we go. Like here is the fool energy, and I guess that's zero who is his dog. Okay, the fool represents someone who's starting an exciting adventure. Jack Skellington, like the fool, is enthusiastic and determined as he sets out on his ill-advised journey to take over Christmas, okay? Then he goes on to upright. If it comes upright, um, childlike enthusiasm as you take your first brave steps towards something new. With limited potential, there's no telling how far you'll go. And then we come to the reversed. Initially blind, okay, um, his na na naivety, na naivety, and idealism initially blinds blind him to the damage he causes when taking over Christmas. Learning from his mistakes, stay excited about the future, but be sensible and look before you leap. Okay, so that's really not, I have heard the fool described in, you know, when it's reversed as more of a negative, but this actually turns the negative into a positive too. So then we have are 22 cards of the Major Arcana. And that's the thing about, um, about tarot. Tarot is what, uh, 78 cards. The first 22 are Major Arcana, which we've talked about. Numbers do have meaning. Uh, it goes from 0 to 21, giving you 22 cards. And then you come to the Minor Arcana book, part of the book, and we go through everything there. Now, the Minor Arcana is going to be different here because they have candles. Candles is going to be, of course, fire energy. Then let's see what else we might have here. We have, oh, come on, presents. Presents, I would think, would be the earth energy. Then let's see, we have needles. Needles, I would think, is the um, sword energy. And then we would have potions. And potions would be the cup or water energy. So it's interesting book. I've not, re I, like I said, I've really not um, examined these. I've really not done anything with these. Um, but I do like them. I did like the feel of these. And sometimes... You know, we do need, again, we can take, so this was here, like this, you pulled out the book, and now we can pull out the cards. Sometimes we do need some darker um, cards, and you know, and this is a little darker, to, um, you know, to really discover that shadow side of us. So the card itself is, it's actually got, it's actually a nice stock, it's nice feeling, so, and it's, you know, here we have the Ten of Potions. I'm wondering where the the king... Okay, here we go. Probably in the beginning. So here we go here. Let's take a peek. We have the Fool. And actually, it is a nice... It is a nice stock. It's not... It is something that I'll be able to do my dealer shuffle with, you know, but it is... I'll also be doing the hand over hand. It does feel good. There's no gilding or anything to kind of come off. It doesn't feel cheaply made. It does feel kind of, you know, there is a little cartoonishness, but it's not a bad one. Oh, there's the Empress. Now, I do not like that as the Empress. You know, I love my Empress, and I look at the Empress as the Holy Spirit, the feminine energy. Um, this Empress, I would get kind of a, if I'm doing a reading with this, I would get kind of a, Whew, you've pissed someone off. You've pissed someone off. And then we have the emperor who is coming up as Santa Claus, um, Father Christmas. It just, oh, it, you know, I mean, that's not a bad representation, but I do not feel like the empress and the emperor are really the ideal couple. So interesting with that. Here we go. <laughs> this one I do agree with. And I'm not going to go through all the cards, but I wanted to kind of, take a peek with you. The Hierophant, you know how much I dislike the Hierophant. This to me is a very true, um, this is, this has a very strong representation. Um, so here we go. So we have the lovers, the chariot, strength. 
Okay, so we do have some very interesting, it is very interesting. We've got where we go from the fool to the world. The world has some choices here. The world is opening up, but it's, you know, I don't know whose world is this all about. I don't know. So here we go. We have the king of, so they put, they put their, um, they put their court cards on the top and then they start with their ace. So the king of candles, kind of a scary dude, kind of a very, you know, so this, this, well, just to basically tell you, this would um, be more of the watch out. This is a little more of a, um, a darker, darker type of reading, okay? But let's go ahead. Let's just take one reading. Now, I have not done any Reiki or meditation over this, but let's just take one reading and just um, see what we can do here. So this is the first time I've done this with these cards. I did not sleep on them. I didn't even put them out for the full moon. I have done nothing with these. And sometimes, you know what? That's just what you do. Um, we are now mixing these up, mixing these up. Let's see what we've got here. Interesting cards. They do feel, I mean, they feel very strong to me. They are very strong, so the message could be very strong. Um, they do feel like there has been, you know, but again, this goes with more of the shadow power, the shadow energy, the, maybe the, even the darker energy, which if you are brand new to, um, to tarot or if you, you know, you need to be, you're an um, empath or something like that, I would probably stay away from these. Uh, just because it, you know, this is this is one of those things you really have to um, you have to watch your own spiritual connection. I have prayed before I did this. I you know, base I didn't pray over the cards, but I did pray over myself. You know, I basically Holy Spirit, um, Lord God, Jesus, please protect me as I shuffle or as I go through these cards. Keep anything that is, you know, of dark nature or of evil away from me, my household, and my home. And let nothing, nothing come to do evil. Okay? So here we go. So I do pray. I mean, I, I, I believe so, so much in prayer. So let's see what we've got here. So what would our question be? Do we want to see what's going on in the world again? What's going on in the, okay. Well, these cards seem to want to come out. We will put them here, and let's see what we have. Okay, we've got, we have three cards that popped out. One, no, come on, that looks like it's, there we go. All right, here we go, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, and we have a fifth. I'm going to put that over it. Let's see what we have. I mean, the backs are very pretty, but remember, too, Dark energy can appear very beautiful. So let's see what we've got going on. First card, what's going on in the world? Okay, this is reversed, but this is the Knight of Potions. Well, you know when I'm talking about knights, um, and any of the court cards have an underlying energy. So underlying energy for a knight is the fire energy. Um, it Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is potions, so this would be your water energy. This man, this, whatever this is, does not look really happy with what he's done. Has he ingested some of this potions? Now, normally the Knight of Cups is very, um, there's a romantic energy to it. There's a positive energy. There's kind of a, a spiritual energy to it also. But I'm not picking that up here at all. I'm kind of picking up, you know, drinking the Kool-Aid, drinking the potion, drinking the poison. I do not feel a real positive energy, and now it's kind of like a, oh my goodness, what have I done energy here. Okay, next card here. This is again reversed. We have the 11 of presence. So 11 of presence. Hmm. What does that all mean? Because we go up to a 10, and now, oh, you know what? I'm sorry, it's a 2. <laughs> I have to get... It's a two of presence. Yeah, I get, a, I get a dark vibe with all of these cards. So sometimes it's like if you need to know what's against you, 
Um, I would say watch out for um, gifts. I would say watch out for what, you know, it's kind of like um, just watch out. Watch out for things presented to you. So this would be the two of earth, the two of pentacles. And, you know, the two of pentacles is usually about balance. But I would say with this, these cards, I can watch, you know, you, you know, you're drinking the Kool-Aid. What, you know, there's, there is some regret here. This is watch out. Not everything um, is, not everything is what it appears to be. It's not, you know, here you had this um, jack-in-the-box type of thing and, it, you know, there's a little scary energy. I, I'm not sure where we'd go with this, but let's go on next card. All these are reversed. This is the five of presents. Very, you know, again, Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. A five, change, change, change. This has a, this just has a really um, dark, you know, again, this is kind of a, I get this watch out um, energy with this. So all of these give me a very dark, um, a dark possibility, dark presence. This is kind of that, you know, so this, this has, this is usually where, um, there is the, you know, young boy and the woman that they look destitute and they're trying to find a way. But in many ways, you know, they're coming to what might be a holy place and they might be able to find help with the holy place. But this just does not feel good. I mean, I don't, if you're somebody that's a real light worker, um, I would say be a little leery of this. I would be a little careful with this. But if you're somebody that does a lot of shadow work and, you know, and there are people that watch that do look into the darker side, um, you know, but again, have lots and lots of, lots and lots of protection while you're working with these cards. Okay. Next card is here. Okay. The page of candles. Well, he's a scary dude, isn't he? Um, page, underlying energy for pages is presence or is earth. Candle is our fire energy. Um, he, you know, he looks like he's very gleeful. He looks like he wants to go after some things that he wants. I would not want him coming into my dreams. I would not want him coming into my dreams. I would not want to even, you know, I would not want him to... Um, push me forward. Okay, so just, oh, uh, uh, uh. there's, there's, okay, okay, so now this one I put above us, let's see what this is, come on, let's give us some good ones here, here we go, the queen of needles, now, don't get a very bad vibe of that, queen energy has, um, has water energy underneath it, so that would be potions here, potions here, um, so it's caring, it's it's spiritual, it's emotional. Needles is our sword energy. And um, that is our Aquarius, our Gemini, our Libra energy. You know, this one, you know, thinking things through. This one, I'm just getting this whole feeling, whatever's going on in the world, take care of yourself first, okay? I, you know, and I have to tell you that... Um, you know, I am getting a little bit of pressure in my head with these cards, so not sure what we're going to do. But this is the Queen of Needles. This is take care of yourself first. Okay, Queen of Swords. So tell me what you thought of these cards. Now, there, I mean, and again, too, that is not, I have not looked, ugh, I have not looked through the book. Um, you know, I have, you know, I shuffled. You saw me shuffle. They were all in order. So what does that one say? Two of, can oh, six of candles. Six of candles is usually victory and usually a very bright future ahead. So that's a good energy to have too. But tell me what you think. If you followed through, I will be doing the other three packets that I have. Um, I'll do one at a time. Those are actually oracle cards, and I'll tell you a little bit about what's the difference with that. So tarot cards, what they have is they have 22 major arcanas, and they have 56 minor arcanas. The major is more of the overview. The minor is more of your day-to-day, -day. though 
you can see that there is a, there can be a lot of overview energy involved in your day to day. Okay, so what'd you think of these? I don't see that this has a real place for me with my videos and my channel. Um, I may do a onesie or a twosie, uh, it may be in personal readings if I if people need to discover, you know, like why why aren't things happening or what what's going on. So I don't know. You tell me. Uh, what do you think of these deck? Well, what do you think of this deck? And here I'll put this all back together again. They were. I didn't get a bad feeling before I opened it, but what as I was shuffling these. I did get I did get an ominous one, and like I said, if you are very um, empathetic, or or an empath, or you know just a very sensitive, or very sensitive to dark energies, I would really not get these. But maybe maybe I'm wrong. You tell me. It's a, it like I said, the packaging is very nice. But I was once told. Um, I was once told very much kind of vision type of energy, and I was like, why why did you show me this? And it was to show you that um, dark energy can appear quite beautiful. So, uh, uh, not sure how I feel. Okay, if you like this, I am going to do three more. I don't know how I'm going to um, put them out. It might all be today. It might be, you know, over a space of time. But if you like this, take a moment to do the like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. I don't think this is going to go into our um, regular deck, but you never know. You never know. As always, to all of you. And we hit 26,000 subscribers. Oh, my goodness. Now, I watch it, and so it can go down to $25.99. <laughs> but thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Um, your support has been amazing, and I really appreciate, you know, who would have thought in 2018, you know, tiny little thing. And I know, I'm not, I'm not stylistic, I'm not anything like that. I just have my little setup, it's in my bedroom, so thank you all. Okay, back to the important part. Always know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.